Good morning, everyone. Oh my God, my voice continues to sound really funny. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. This is our morning get together live here on Facebook, where we take a look at news from our city, our state, and our country. We take a look at what's on your mind as far as things to do, how to connect with our city, how to best enjoy ourselves as we live our lives here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English speaking locals. Today is Wednesday, January 31. 31st. It's the last day of the month. And you may notice a couple of things. First of all, there was no pre-show announcement. This was both a deliberate and an accidental thing. Um, I got a late start this morning and I was putting together things to talk about today. And all of a sudden I realized, oh shit, it's time to announce the show. But then the time became so close to the actual time of the show, I figured I'm going to not pre-announce the show and then I'm going to ask you if it makes a difference to you that I announce the show or not. What is this about? Well, every morning sometime between 9.30 and 10, I publish what the show is going to be about and I upload a notice to Facebook and Facebook puts it up. And that's lovely. But sometimes I wonder if people actually see these pre-notices or not. I got a curious note from Albert who said, is there not going to be a show today? Uh, because, yes, Karen says Albert was getting concerned. I know that. So my first question to you is, do you rely on these uh, pre-show notices? It's not like they're going away or not. Uh, it's just that today happened to be a day in which I didn't get to it. So I'm just curious about it. I'm happy to pre-announce the show every single day. Um, and, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, as always, um, there is, uh, oh, somebody was concerned. Okay, that's good to know. That means to me, thank you, Christy. To me, that means that these are important to you and we're happy to do them every day. Sorry to conduct an experiment. It must have been the movie that I went to see yesterday, Poor Things, which was absolutely stunning. And I'll talk about that in a second. But first, um, oh, interesting. Doug says, no, I don't rely. Uh, which is also fair. I mean, there is nothing good or bad about this. And it's just one of those things that Facebook does. Anyhow, um, so we didn't have a pre-show announcement because I had a late start. And then to compound that or to combine along with that, it's a sad day for news today. But the good thing is that I had prepared a couple of things um, to share with you. But we do have one bit of news that I found was really interesting. And I'm going to start with that. And <clears throat> this has to do with Mexico President Andres Manuel López Obrador uh, proposing an animal protection bill, which I think is a beautiful bit of news in commemoration of the upcoming Constitution Day on February 5th. López Obrador is set to modify the Constitution's Article Number 4, which would forbid and penalize cruelty against animals. It is estimated that in Mexico, seven out of 10 domestic animals suffer from some kind of neglect and abuse. The timing of this bill um, could also have something to do with the fact that over this past weekend, bullfights returned to Mexico City's Plaza Mexico, which is Mexico's most important bullfight um, venue in the country. And the return of the bullfights uh, polarized opinions. Some people love them. Many people hate them. And then, of course, <clears throat> two days later, as of yesterday, bullfights were declared illegal again due to a temporary legal protection. So will we have bullfights or not in the future is a mystery. Uh, but I'm glad to hear about this new proposal submitted this coming Monday by President López Obrador. Before we get into Constitution Day, I also want to let you know, speaking of animals, that tomorrow is National Ajolote Day or Axolotl Day here in Mexico. And um, I prepared a small feature to better acquaint you with these curious amphibian animals endemic to Mexico. Take a look. Celebrates National Axolotl Day on the first day of February. 
to get you better acquainted with these fascinating salamander-like amphibian creatures. Here is a list of 10 facts you may not know about them. Number one, incredible regeneration abilities. Axolotls possess unparalleled regenerative capabilities, allowing them to regrow entire limbs, including bones, muscles, and nerves without scarring. Number two, neotenic features. Unlike most amphibians, axolotls retain their larval features throughout their lives, including external gills and a dorsal fin, a phenomenon known as neoteny. Number three, endangered status. Despite their unique traits, axolotls are critically endangered in the wild due to habitat destruction and pollution, particularly in their native habitat of the Xochimilco canals in Mexico City. Number four, cultural significance. Axolotls hold cultural significance in Mexican mythology and art, often associated with the Aztec god Xolotl and depicted in various ancient artifacts and murals. Number five, biomedical research subject. Due to their regenerative abilities, axolotls are extensively studied in biomedical research with scientists hoping to unlock the secrets of tissue regeneration for potential medical applications. Number six, unusual reproduction. Axolotls exhibit a unique courtship dance during mating where males deposit sperm packets called spermatophores on the substrate for females to pick up with their cloaca. Number seven, external gills. Axolotls have external gills that allow them to absorb oxygen directly from the water, a feature retained throughout their lives. Number eight, color variations. Axolotls come in various colors and patterns, including shades of albino, black, gray, and brown with speckling modeling or mosaic patterns. Number nine, invasive potential. In some regions outside of their native habitat, axolotls have been introduced as invasive species posing a threat to local ecosystems by competing with native species. Number 10, popular aquarium pets. Despite their endangered status, axolotls are popular aquarium pets worldwide, valued for their unique appearance and relatively easy care requirements contributing to conservation efforts through captive breeding programs. Watch Coffee and Headlines Monday through Saturday on Facebook to learn more about Puerto Vallarta, Jalisco, and Mexico. Thanks for watching. How about that? Well, that was a little bit on the axolotl or the ajolote, as we call it here. Um, and now let's turn to the weather. Oh my God, the weather wonders why are so many meat bags mad that Taylor Swift gets to play in the Super Bowl? Now that's really funny, and I'm not even going to touch it. Today is 26, uh, we have 26 degrees today. We are experiencing 67% humidity. And our weather forecast for today, according to our snarky um, weatherman, we're going to have a humid day with overcast skies, a chance of rain of 21%. Who knew? A high of 28 and a low of 21. Then tomorrow, Thursday, um, it will be a humid day with mostly clear skies, a high of 29 and a low of 19. And then on Friday, another humid day with mostly clear skies, a high of 28 and a low of 18. And that is our weather forecast for the next couple of days. I can see a lot of comments going by, and I'll be very eager to look at them once we get to the show notes. I mean, to the comment section, rather. But first, <clears throat> let me clear my throat again. I'm sorry, I'm beginning to wonder if I should adopt this as my new way of speaking. No, seriously, I hope this throat thing will go away. Yesterday, I had the most wonderful afternoon, and I would love to tell you all about it. It started with, right after the broadcast, I went and had breakfast, late breakfast, at, um, oh my God, I'm having a pothead, at Noah's, Noah's Cafe. Um, just down the street. And, you know, if you haven't had breakfast at Noah's, 
in Versailles. It is such a wonderful place to have breakfast. I had breakfast with your friend from out of town and his mother, and it's always great to connect. And it's always great to connect with people that are visiting because <clears throat> sometimes our visitors can reveal excellent topics for coffee and headlines in the future. For example, this particular friend's mother says to me, you know, I live so close to the bells in um, Cinco de Diciembre, and I've gotten used to them. I hear people complaining about them, and I think people would complain about them less if they understood what the bells mean and why they ring them when they ring them and so forth and so on. Do you know why? And I was stumped because, you know, for the life of me, I have no idea what the church bells mean. So it was great because it gave me a great idea of another topic to research. And I took a quick look at it this morning and I will have some kind of explainer in the near future so we can better understand what the bells are about. And that was early right after the broadcast. But then I got together with dear friends. We went to see this extraordinary film at Cinepolis La Isla. And I may have gotten my leading ladies mixed up. I think I may have said yesterday that this had Margot Robbie on the lead. It actually has Emma Stone on the lead. And the film was absolutely stunning. Yesterday, I was tickled by the fact that somebody commented, uh, well, we walked out of the theater halfway through the film. I, You know, it may not be for everyone, but I loved it. I laughed. It made me think. It gave me the feels. And it was just absolutely wonderful. Totally worth watching on the big screen because of the stunning visuals associated with it. It's um, a new take on the Frankenstein story. And again, it was sensational. I actually want to go watch it over at the theater again before it goes away from the big screen experience. After that, some friends and I were <clears throat> craving some cocktails, so we decided to go to Los Cuentos, uh, not to Los Cuentos, to um, El Jardín de la Versalles, which is partly owned by Los Cuentos beer, and um, we get there, and it's a beautiful alfresco space. We had the idea of having a cocktail, maybe pizza, but um, uh, give me one second. Halfway through the adventure of half, right after we sat down, actually, we said, well, but the, the idea of uh, beer sounds good, but why don't we go to the Los Cuentos tap room instead to have actual beer and some of the munchies that they offer there. Uh, as a reminder, Los Cuentos offers their beer at the Jardín de la Versailles, but they offer different types of food at their tap room. So we stayed here for a cocktail, and then we went over two blocks to the tiny but beautiful tap room where Los Cuentos pairs their handcrafted beers with delicious Mexican treats. And again, the experience was absolutely phenomenal if you haven't had a chance to experience Los Cuentos Tap Room. Trust me, you will love it. Obviously, if you don't enjoy Mexican food and you don't enjoy craft beer, this may not be a place for you because that's all you're going to find. But the beers are delicious. The pairings are phenomenal. The service is, is just amazing. So that is just a food for thought. And looking at the clock, um, Hold on just a second. I'm looking at um, the fact that we are in good timing. We can start our chit-chat section now, and I can save my feature about Constitution Day until Monday. Or if you're really curious about why is Constitution Day about, we can feature it after the chit-chat section if you write the word constitution in your comments. Before we go, one more announcement. I have no idea how um, availability of space is at uh, my presentation tomorrow, but again, tomorrow we will be doing Soulful Storytellers at the Joint Hotel with free admission as part of their um, 
two-year anniversary celebration. So all you have to do is to sign up at the hotel's reception desk if you'd like to attend. Again, I don't know if there are still spaces available or not, but I would rely on them. And because I'm seeing that you have made some comments about Constitution, I'm going to interpret that as the fact that you are curious about it. So let's learn a little bit more about Mexico's Constitution before we head into our chit chat section. A timeline of Mexico's Constitution. Mexico celebrates Constitution Day on February 5th each year. This day commemorates the promulgation of the country's current constitution, which took place on February 5th, 1917. The Constitution of Mexico, often referred to as the Constitution of 1917, was a landmark document that emerged in the aftermath of the Mexican Revolution. It aimed to address the social, political, and economic demands of various revolutionary factions, enshrining principles of social justice, land reform, labor rights, and the separation of church and state. Here is a quick overview of the history of Mexico's constitution. In 1824, Mexico adopted its first national constitution, known as the Federal Constitution of the United Mexican States, following its independence from Spain. This constitution established Mexico as a federal republic with a division of powers between the executive, legislative, and judicial branches. It drew inspiration from liberal principles and the U.S. Constitution, aiming to create a stable government after years of colonial rule. In 1857, the liberal government, led by President Ignacio Comonfort, promulgated the Constitution of 1857. This constitution was a response to the conservative rule of President Antonio Lopez de Santa Anna and sought to limit the power of the Catholic Church, establish individual rights, and restrict the authority of the military. It included provisions for freedom of speech, assembly, and religion, as well as the abolition of slavery. Amidst the Mexican Revolution, the current Constitution of Mexico was drafted and promulgated on February 5, 1917. The Constitution of 1917 addressed the social and economic demands of various revolutionary factions. It included provisions for land reform, labor rights, and the nationalization of natural resources. Additionally, it sought to limit the power of large landholders and foreign corporations reflecting the revolutionary goals of social justice and equitable distribution of resources. That was supposed to In be In 1934, there you during go. the presidency of Lazaro Cardenas, the Constitution underwent significant amendments to accommodate the social and economic changes brought about by the Mexican Revolution. These amendments included provisions for agrarian reform, which redistributed land to peasant farmers, and the nationalization of the oil industry, which placed oil resources under state control through the creation of Pemex or Petróleos Mexicanos. In 2011, various amendments are made to the Constitution, including changes to human rights provisions, electoral processes, and the recognition of indigenous rights. These amendments aim to modernize the Constitution and address contemporary challenges facing Mexican society, such as improving the protection of human rights, enhancing electoral transparency, and promoting the rights of indigenous peoples. President Andrés Manuel López Obrador proposes several constitutional reforms in 2019, including the creation of a National Guard and changes to energy policies. These proposals spark debates and controversies, particularly regarding the role of the military in domestic security and the future of Mexico's energy sector. The proposed reforms reflect ongoing efforts to adapt the Constitution to address evolving political, social, and economic realities in Mexico. Constitution Day is observed throughout Mexico with various events, including civic ceremonies, educational activities in schools, and public lectures highlighting the significance of the Constitution in shaping the country's history and governance. 
It serves as an occasion to reflect on the values and principles embodied in the Constitution and to reaffirm Mexico's commitment to upholding the rule of law, democracy, and the rights of its citizens. Please like this video and follow Coffee and Headlines on Facebook for more features such as this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, he says. Well, <clears throat> while we were watching, I went and refreshed my cup of coffee. And I also searched, oh, my voice, hold on. I also searched the internet and read, found out on my phone, that September 17, 1787 was the date in which the first U.S. Constitution was drafted. So imagine, you know, between 1787 and then the beginning of the 18th century, 19th century, my bad, the amount of time that it must have taken for a copy of the U.S. Constitution to travel to Mexico so that it could be adapted um, into the Mexican Constitution or so that some elements of it could be incorporated. The timing makes sense, but, um, you know, nowadays we realize that news travels so quickly, but back then it must have taken months if not years, but that's neither here nor there. I hope you enjoyed the two features that we prepared for today. Let us take a look at your comments. I see a lot of good mornings and I appreciate those. I'm looking for capital letter Qs, of course, and the occasional other comment that catches my eyes. Um, I thank you for your feedback on the on the pre-show notification. Again, it just happened that way. There's no reason why I cannot continue to do it. And I appreciate the fact that some of you were concerned. There's a little part of me that realizes that it is quite possible that one of these days I'm going to croak. And I could croak in my apartment. And the reason you're going to find out that I did is because I did not broadcast. Sounds morbid, I know, but I'm well aware of my reality. Um... Let's see. Albert, I didn't mean to concern you. Although you say, as long as I know there's a show to see, there's always a show to see. I will never just disappear. I will simply try to make sure that sleep doesn't get the best of me early in the morning as it happened to me today. Mark says, yes, I do rely on them. I got concerned about your health. Oh, thank you so much. And I'm too old to figure out how to find that, uh, how to find the show here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Joshua, you're back from the honeymoon. I hope you had a great honeymoon. I saw videos of the wedding and uh, I hope you are the happiest couple out there. Let's see. And of course, Josh, Josh, who calls himself Yuck Shalotl, um, says it's one of his favorite days. I can believe that. That would be tomorrow. Uh, let's see. And Logan is correct. The, the Axolotl can be found on a limited edition of the 50 peso note right now, and it is absolutely beautiful. What else do we have? Um, John says that he saw one in person. You know, occasionally you will see them at pet stores and at aquariums. They are beautiful to look at. They're weird looking, but they are beautiful animals. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Noah is a fun place for breakfast. You know, I was saddened. Hold on. I was saddened to learn that despite the fact that Noah's invested in a new bar so that they could open at night, they are having such a difficult time finding people to work the evening shift that they had to suspend um, their evening activities. I also found out that they've been having some kind of art-related events, but again, I have not been, I have not found these on Facebook events, so I quickly suggested to them, you guys, you may want to create Facebook events because unless people are actively following your page, 
it is difficult to know that something is going on unless there is a Facebook event. At least that's the way I see it. For anyone out there that is doing events, it really helps when you actually create a free event on Facebook. Let's see what else we have. Liz says, love the chatter about new films. Whenever I go see a film, Liz, I will be mindful of that and I'll be happy to talk about it without spoiling it. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, and Pat, oh my God. Pat, you haven't heard of Los Cuentos. Let me tell you why Los Cuentos is amazing if you like beer and you like Mexican food. Summertime, they're air conditioned. Wintertime, it's air conditioned. You don't need the air conditioned. It is a small place, so you want to be there when there's very few people. And the photo that I showed was not taken by me. I borrowed it from their Facebook page. Um, it is best when um, it's, there's only a few people, preferably just you and your party, because literally there's only space for, I don't know, for a 12 people sitting down, maybe a little bit more. But behind, the, for the staff to operate, there is one cook and one waiter and that's all the room there is so whatever it is that you want uh you don't want to go there with a huge appetite waiting for a lot of food to arrive at your plate or, or at, your, at your table quickly because that's not the kind of place but if you're there to be surprised we had guacamole uh, and we had grasshoppers crickets added to the guacamole and then Albert had never tried them before, so he tried them by themselves. Uh, he'd never been there before, so we asked for a courtesy sampling of the four beers that they offer. And Albert had a chance to try them all before we all settled on the on the big, heavy chocolate-infused beer, which is absolutely wonderful. It is a great place, and it's right in our neighborhood. Highly recommend it. Uh, then you asked for constitution information, and I delivered... Uh, Mario, I have been thinking about you, and I know you know that. Thank you for your feedback. I very much appreciate it. Um, let's see what else we have. Boom, 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 boom. More comments about the ajolote, more comments about constitution. Tierra Huichol on the Malecon has one in an aquarium. Oh, my God. That is good to know. Well, there you go. If you want to see an axolotl in person, all you have to do is go to Tierra Huichol on the Malecon. Maybe I will bring my camera in that general direction next time I am over there. And this um, brings us to the end of today's edition of Coffee and Headlines. Again, I apologize for not putting out the pre-show announcement. It was half accident, half experiment. I have learned something new thanks to you. Tomorrow we'll be back. And of course, since I gave away my um, special segment for Constitution Day, I need to start working on other special treats or hopefully tomorrow will be a better news day. Between now and then, have a great day. Get to watch poor things on the film, on the big screen if you can. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.